hypothesis testing of the population mean using the normal distribution. Heights of Japanese sixth form students are normally distributed. In 1975, the population mean height was 168 centimeters, so, so this is the current population mean with standard deviation 8. The claim is that students are now taller, so we're looking for an increase to the population mean. A random sample of 50 students was selected and the sample mean is 169 centimeters. We're using a 5% significance level to carry out a hypothesis test. So the population mean is 168. The standard deviation was 8, so the variance will be 8 squared, or 64. The random sample has a size of 50. So the sample mean follows a normal distribution with a mean of 168. And the variance will be sigma squared over n, so 8 squared over 50. The sample mean is 169. So the null hypothesis, H0, the population mean is 168. We're looking for an increase. So we're testing to see if the students are now taller. We're using a 5% significance level. So this will be a one-tailed test because we're looking for an increase. So we label up the sketch. The population mean is 168. We're looking for an increase. So there's 5% here, which means there is 95% here. This is the acceptance region, where we would accept H0. This is the rejection region, where we reject H0, called the critical region. The critical value goes here, which defines where this critical region starts from. And the critical value is basically this value here. And we're going to work it out by using this standardizing formula. So from the normal tables, we look up the probability of 0 0.95, which from page 19 in the formula book gives a z-value of 1.645. and it's a positive value. So we're now going to work out the critical value here using this 1.645. So in the standardizing formula, we have the sample mean minus the population mean, 168, divided by, and inside the square root, we need to put 8 squared over 50, the variance. If you square root the variance, you get the standard deviation. And you'll recall this formula, z is equal to x minus the mean over sigma. And we're dividing by the standard deviation. So rearranging the formula here to work out this critical value that goes here, we get 169.9. 169.9. Our test statistic is 169. 
here. So the test value is in the acceptance region. So we're going to accept H0 and conclude that there is no significant evidence that students are now taller. So here's the conclusion. It's useful to state the acceptance region. This can be used to calculate the probability of a type 2 error and the rejection region which is used to calculate the probability of a type 1 error. And because we've accepted H0, it's possible that a type 2 error was made. And a type 2 error is where you've accepted H0, but in reality you should have rejected H0. So within the context, a type 2 error would be to say that we're accepting H0 and saying that students are now no taller than what they were before. But what we should have said is that we're rejecting H0 and students are now taller than they used to be.